Hi everyone. Uh, so recently I purchased uh, a smart one gang uh, switch from Energy and uh, thought about uh, making a video on it. So I'm going to go over the technical specifications uh, that it has and also show you how to install it correctly. So here we have uh, the package content. So we have the actual switch, uh, we have the box, uh, the screws and uh, so it comes with the manual. Uh, manual has uh, pretty decent details so the instructions are not that bad. Uh, just some uh, important points uh, to consider. Uh, the switch itself only works with uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So having a closer look at the switch itself so we can see here uh, there's a layer of plastic and we have a thick layer of glass so I mean the appearance is nice but I think my opinion in the long run this might get scratched so it might not look nice in the wrong run unless you take good care of it though and uh, so regarding the dimensions I want to point out one thing make sure in your uh, in your switch uh, in your switch uh, so make sure when you replace it, you have enough depth for uh, this to fit in. So as you can see here, so this is almost two and a half inches. When I took out some of my old uh, switches uh, in my house, I noticed that this did not fit in. Whereas in other places, it did fit in. So depending on the work uh, that the electricians did, like sometimes it's not really uh, adequate enough and if there is um, if there's not enough room so uh, it's not a good idea to buy this in my opinion so double check if you have enough room for this to fit in so uh, what else do we have so we have the width. so this is these are standard dimensions for the length and the width so this is about um, oh yeah almost nine so eight point six and this one is, yeah, so it's 8.6 by 8.6. So if you're in the UK, so these are standard sizes uh, as your old switches. They're almost the same. And here we have, uh, so the, the, that's where the two screws go. And um, in regards to the electrical properties, so this is between 110 volts to 240. So if you are in the US you could still use this although you're not gonna fit it in the uh, in the in the switch uh, outlet itself it doesn't fit because the dimensions are different the standards are different but electricity wise it works it functions no problem and uh, so the white uh, the Wi-Fi as I said earlier and 5 gigahertz it doesn't work but if you if your internet provider provides you with five gigahertz, uh, you can modify that where you can uh, have two point four as well. But double check with them about that. And um, regarding the the loads, so the max load, this one is about three hundred watts. So in, if you want to control multiple lights, make sure that they do not exceed that range. So if you're using uh, 10 60 watt uh, light bulbs, that's not a good idea. But if you're using like 15 watt LEDs, and uh, so basically I have eight LEDs, so which I'm gonna show you soon, it worked uh, with no problems. So in regards to the wiring, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that this switch requires a, a neutral wire. And uh, this is important uh, to pay attention to it because it might uh, cause an issue for some people, especially if your house has an older installation. Typically for switches uh, and older installations, they don't have neutral wires. They only have live wires. So if you don't have that, uh, you're gonna need uh, to install a new wire. So it might be costly and it, it, like new construction might be required. So just keep in mind that so here we have L and L1 so b both of these are hot wires L basically uh, comes from your circuit breaker so this is your source this is your so your power source 
this comes here and the L1 will go directly to your switch so I will uh, I will make a, a simple uh, wiring diagram to show that okay now before we do the installation first thing uh, that you should always do is shut off the circuit breaker that's connected uh, to your switch so you can work uh, in safe mode okay so now uh, that we're ready for the installation let's uh, disassemble the old switch so get a screwdriver and then you have these screws take them out Okay, so now I have three wires coming out, and uh, all three wires uh, will be connected uh, to the switch. Now, one thing uh, I want to point out, how would we know which, uh, because we have two live wires, how would we know which live wire goes to L and which one goes to L1? So we said L is the source, it comes from the circuit breaker. And L1 would go to your switch. So uh, right now, temporarily, I turned on the circuit breaker just to show you uh, which of these wires from the blue, <clears throat> the blue wires, which one come, is coming from the circuit breaker. So if we get our tester here, so this is, uh, let's see, the neutral first. We get obviously no reading, just to double check. This is our first uh, live wire we also get nothing but whereas this one we get a reading so what does this mean this means that this wire is coming from the circuit breaker <clears throat> hence when I turned it on when I turned it on electricity comes through here so we said L comes from the source being uh, the circuit breaker and L1 will go to our load being our lights Okay, so now uh, I'm done with the wiring and I have my breaker on. So when I press this here, lights turn on. Press it again, turn off. It's very responsive. Okay, so I made a simple wiring diagram uh, to uh, portray how the circuit would work. So firstly, you can consider this left section here. This is the main distribution panel that you have in your house and this is the circuit breaker that feeds the, the switch so uh, we have a, a wire here a live wire that goes to L and this is the wire that we tested and we uh, we saw earlier that it has uh, a hot reading uh, unlike this one uh, if, if this if the switch is off this one would not show any uh, live wire, uh, a live reading because this one will go to the lights so the, the L1 here will go to one uh, terminal of the lights and uh, the other terminal is the neutral wire which will go back to the main uh, distribution panel this will go to the neutral bus bar and at the same time the neutral that we uh, connected to the switch is also coming from the neutral bus bar Hence, we have uh, a complete circuit uh, where the uh, light uh, would be powered up. So in regards to the app that controls the uh, switch, so NRJ made uh, an app called NRJ Smart. So through this app, you can uh, control it either uh, through your cell phone, your iPad, uh, any smart device. Uh, if you have Alexa or Echo, it's also compatible using uh, voice commands. And uh, so basically, yeah, when you have uh, this app open, uh, so basically I called it living room lights, the lights. And 
when I press it, switch on, off, and on again directly. And uh, once you open the app for the first time, it'll ask you to register and uh, it will automatically detect um, whether your Wi-Fi is compatible or not. If you have five gigahertz, it will, it will, give, it will notify you that you cannot proceed uh, uh, with the registration process. But if, it, if you change it to 2.4, uh, it, it will work normally. So another feature that this has uh, is basically you can adjust the time when uh, you want to turn your switch and when you want to turn it off. So uh, I made uh, so I made a few timings. So at 3:37 uh, it turned on, and the next timing. So when three right now it's 3:43. When it uh, when it's 3:44 it's gonna turn off. And um, so basically uh, like. You can uh, have it uh, a repeat cycle. You, you can have it. Uh, you can have it only once, or uh, you can specify the day, like Sunday, Monday. You can even have it all. All the, basically uh, all the time. You can have it turn on or off. So just a few seconds ago, the light uh, switched off as I ordered it to. So it's it was scheduled at 3:43. Right now it's 3:44. And uh, so uh, basically once, even though I told it uh, only once, let's say uh, I want to do it again, it doesn't get removed. So let's say uh, tomorrow I want the same thing, I can uh, just turn it on. And tomorrow at 3.43 p.m., if the lights are on, uh, it will turn off. Okay, so now that we're done with the uh, installations and the wiring and the uh, configurations in the app, I want to show you uh, how it turns on the lights that I have. So when I go to the app and press the on button I have for the switches. So for my switch, it turns on these lights. So notice I have eight LEDs here. All eight are connected in series and controlled by that one switch. Now each LED is rated at seven watts. So seven times eight, uh, we have a total of a power consumption of 56, 56 watts. Uh, regarding the maximum that the switch can handle, as I said at the rail, it's 300 watts. So it doesn't matter how many uh, lights that you have or how they're, how they're uh, wired up, as long as your total power consumption does not exceed 300. So, uh, this one, uh, I didn't face any problem, so when I press on and off, it's very responsive. There's not even uh, a delay. So thank you all for watching. I really hope you found this uh, useful. Uh, if you have any feedback, uh, I'd really appreciate it.